Hi, my name is Teresa Krochmer, Solutions Marketing Manager for Rational Requirements Definition and Management. This demo today will illustrate how to transform a Rational Requirements Composer project into a model in Rational Software Architect or Rational Software Modeler. I'll show you how you can use use cases and process flow requirements you captured in IBM Rational Requirements Composer as a basis for your solution analysis and design activities within RSA or RSM. Here you see the Requirements Composer homepage. Let's first take a look at the business process diagram that was created in Requirements Composer, possibly by the business analyst. Notice the shopper lane with the activities Browse Storefront, Select CD, Add to Shopping Cart, and Checkout. Below you also see the classic CD pool with two lanes, Website and Catalog System. I won't name all the activities and decision points, but you can note them here. Let's now take a look at the use case diagram in Composer. Here you can see four actors, Shopper, Catalog System, Warehouse System, and Administrator. You can also see four use cases, Shop for CD, Purchase CD, Arrange Shipment, and Check Order Status. Let's now take a look at how you download the project content in Requirements Composer to prepare it for importing to Rational Software Modeler. First, you right-click on the project you want to download, in this case the Classic CD. Then you select Download. In the dialog box, you can see the resources that will be downloaded once you browse to the destination location for this project. We'll now look at Rational Software Modeler. The first thing to do is create a new model project. Then you can create a new project resource. Under General, click on Project, then type in a project name, in this case, RRC RSA Demo. When you now look at the Project Explorer, you'll see the model project we just created. Right-click on the project, select Transform, then select New Configuration. The New Transformation Configuration dialog box comes up. I will type in the name RRC Transform for the transformation configuration. The configuration file destination is filled in automatically. Then select Requirements Composer Artifact Transform and press Next. At this point, the Source and Target dialog boxes are displayed. The target is already filled in, so you just have to specify the source by clicking on Load from Archive. Here I navigated to RRC Download folder to find the file I specified previously for the download from Composer. Once the archive is found, you need to select the project artifacts you want to have transformed. I selected all of them. You can click Next or Finish at this point. Once I've clicked Finish, I then click on Run to execute the transformation. I then go back to the Project Explorer view and expand models under my project where you can now see the transformation artifact called here rrctransform.rc. When I expand the model, you see several different types of artifacts, actors, business process diagrams, use cases, use case diagrams, and the UML primitive types. I'll now expand the business process diagram artifact package. Note that each pool in the IBM Rational Requirements Composer transforms into a separate process, a UML activity, and Rational Software Modeler. When I select the shopper diagram, you can see the flow. Just as in Rational Requirements Composer, you can see tasks for Browse Storefront, Select CD, Add to Shopping Cart, and Checkout. Once transformed, you can modify the diagram as you would if it had been created in Rational Software Modeler in the first place. If we open up the Shop Online diagram, you can see that our actors and use cases were all transformed. To allow users to trace back to the requirement space where the objects were originally defined, we have one other feature I'd like to show pertaining to any transformed first-class element. It will help teams preserve alignment between business and IT. This feature will launch either the rich or web-based Composer client and bring the original artifact to focus. 
Simply right-click on the element you want to trace, in this case on the shopper use case, select Navigate, then select Show in Requirements Composer. At that point, Composer will load and will show you where the artifact originated. From there, you can view other links to the shopper artifact, such as the use case diagram. Thank you for viewing this demo on the integration between Rational Requirements Composer and Rational Software Modeler. Remember that this integration also works with Rational Software Architect. If you'd like to learn more about Rational Requirements Composer or Rational Software Modeler, please see the resources listed here. The announcement pages contain additional demos, webcasts, white papers, and podcasts. We also encourage you to download the trial.